just wanted to share something with everybody, how to get paid for eBay inventory by just using your phone and going shopping at Walmart on clearance. Today is Monday, April 5th, and before I go to my post office, I had four more orders come in, so I wanted to go ahead and get these packed up. This buyer paid $13.19, and they paid $11.95 shipping. Picked this up on high bid with, an, um, with a lot of other dishes. Now, when I took the photos of this, if you look up here, I included some cooking utensils. I did put in the description that the utensils do not are not part of this. It's just this piece here. Next thing we have going out is this Waterford water picture. Pick this up on high bid. Um, maybe by the time you're seeing this. I would have already posted a video about the last high bid lot I picked up. So this, I believe I'm into this, along with another Waterford flower vase. This sold for $60. I took a best offer, and the buyer's paying $10.08 shipping. Another RA item going out. You've probably seen me do these before. It's a lot of these fuel st stabilizers. Buyer paid $20.39 and it is going free shipping. But with just three of these, I can keep this light enough to go first class. Another item we have going out, pick these up on RA. I'm probably into these maybe 10 cents each. The buyer paid $8.95 and they did pay $5 shipping. This is light enough. I'll be able to put this in a padded envelope and go first class. These are just the travel size um, Super Poly Grip. So cost of goods, 30 cents. Today is April 6th, and these are the items that we have going out today so far. First item is this Smooth Away Removes Hair Instantly and Pain Free. It is brand new. Pick this up at my local thrift store for a dollar fifty. The buyer paid twelve fifty five, and they're paying four twenty five shipping. The next item we have going out today is this Cuisinart Belgium waffle maker. It is brand new in the box. I picked this up at my local thrift store for ten dollars. The buyer's into it for $65, $65, and it is going free shipping. So this, I'll have to look, but I think I did disclose that it is going to ship in the original box. I'll take a look to see if I do have a box that will fit in. If not, I'll probably put this in a large poly bag. So this, because it is kind of big and bulky and a little bit heavy, will probably be going either pirate ship or UPS. Next thing going out is some more of this Biotin. The buyer purchased two and they paid $22.42. It is going free shipping. These two right here are light enough. They'll go first class. Cost of goods on each of these is a dollar. Next thing going out is we sold again some more of these teas. Again, this is another retail arbitrage item. Buyer paid $13.41 and it is going free shipping. This is light enough where it will go first class. Next thing going out is sold two of these repels all. I did a video a while back and it was called RA Gambling. These were purchased at Walmart clearance and I believe I'm into these for either three $4 at most for each of these. So that's cost of goods of $8. Buyers paying $43.38 and it is going free shipping. Next thing we have going out 
is this was returned back to me. It's the Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, blanket. It got returned back to me because the address was not correct. I reached out to the buyer and asked them what they wanted me to do. They asked me if I could change the address. I said I could not change the address, but I could cancel and they can go ahead and reorder. So I went and canceled it and the same buyer came and repurchased the item again. Hopefully they have the correct shipping address in there. So this is all ready to go. All I need to do is reprint a new label, put on here and send it on its way. The last thing so far today we have going out is some of his silverware. I did pick this up on high bid. Um, it was a mixture of silverware, different patterns. I kind of grouped them together into the patterns that they went together. This is actually William Rogers plate silverware. The entire lot, I'm into it for $17 on high bid. I was able to break it apart into three different listings. This one sold today, sold for $22.57. It is going free shipping. I'm not sure how that happened, but shouldn't cost as much to ship out. I'll actually take and individually wrap each of these and probably put this into a padded flat rate envelope. Okay, so I have my packing done and I had one more order come in. I sold three of these Roundup for lawns. I'm into these for about maybe four or five dollars each. These three sold for $56.28. They are going free shipping, but shipping won't cost all that much. Shipping will be about $11, $12. So I figured I'd go ahead and add this in. I went and dropped off my packages today and went and dropped, stopped at a new thrift store in town. And so I picked up a couple things. First thing I picked up, I picked up this flinch by Parker Brothers game. It is old. I believe it goes back to 1970, maybe 1960. So if I can find them, I'll show some comps up here on the screen. Paid $2 for this. Second thing I picked up at the same little uh, thrift store is this uh, Bugaloo's game. I believe everything's in it. I've just got to double check. Okay, so this... Bugaloo's game, I'm into it for four dollars, and I'll go ahead and show some similar comps up there. Next thing is I went to that uh, other thrift store that I normally go to where I get things super cheap. First thing is I picked up this um, hoodie. It's a Texas uh, University. It's got the American Classic Sportswear tag on it. It's a size medium, but I've done pretty good with the Texas stuff. It's got the Longhorn on there. Looks to be in pretty decent condition. I've got TU back there. Next thing I picked up, I thought this was kind of neat. You can see I'm into this for 10 cents. It's an old Kellogg's. Looks like the Rice Krispies. 1995 or 85, it's hard to see. So I just thought this was kind of neat. I picked it up, 10 cents only. Figured I'd go ahead and list it. If I can find similar comps, I'll show them up there. Next thing I picked up, I picked up the set of CDR, five disc pack, brand new sealed. Paid a dollar for it. Show com comps up, show comps right up here. Last two items I picked up. I picked up this Tasmanian Devil. Um, it does have a voice pack back here. I didn't check it. I figured for 50 cents it couldn't go wrong. Um, it is licensed Looney Tune. So we'll check the, um, the battery pack. We'll see if it actually even works. Hopefully it's not corroded. As you can see, I'm only into it for 50 cents. And we'll show comps up here. Picked up another Tasmanian Devil, again. 50 cents. Looks to be pretty clean, not too bad. Does have um, a voice thing in there, but obviously it's not working. 
So we'll, we'll test that and see what we can get. And the tag is Looney Tunes. Not sure the date. Maybe you picked that up on the screen. I'll go ahead and list similar comps up on the screen. Today is Wednesday, April 7th. And these are the items we have going out today. We have another set of these fuel stabilizers. Show it right up here. These sold for $19.93 free shipping. Next thing we have going out is this uh, Curio. Picked this up at my local thrift store. I paid $20. It is new, open box. The buyer paid $87.96 free shipping. Next thing we have going out is we have one of these PS Vista video games. This is Rayman Origins. Not sure. Pick this up at Walmart. I believe I'm into this game for about $3. This sold for $18.70 and the buyer paid $4.15 shipping. Next thing we have going out is this New York baseball cap. It is embroidered. It's got the patch on the back. It is New Era. Buyer paid $19.93 and they paid $4.95 for shipping. This was one of the hats I picked up on the high bid where I had just purchased all the hats. This happened to be one of them that was in the lot. The entire lot, which was close to 200 hats, I paid $20 for the entire haul. I'll show a link to the video right up there. So I'm into this for pennies. Next thing we have going out are two of these 12 and a half inch Bell bicycle tires. The buyer did purchase two of these. In total, they're $17.52 for both of these, and they paid $7.85 for each shipping. Oops. Next thing we have going out is this Brixton broad hat, size seven and a half. Does have the little logo on the side there. Buyer paid $22.84 and they did pay $4.90 shipping. Today's Thursday, April 8th, and these are the items we have going out today. First thing is um, a box of this Mucinex. Picked this up on RA. I'm into it for $3.00. And this sold for $17.95 free ship. Very light, probably about two, three ounces. Next thing we have going out is two of these Max Out cassette tapes. Picked these up at a thrift store. I'm into them for 50 cents each. That's cost of goods of a dollar. These sold for $10.16 and the buyer's paying $4.80 shipping. Next thing going out is this terrible lakeside casino hat. It is adjustable and the brand is head to toe. I did a video on that hat haul. This happens to be one of them that was in that large hat haul. So I'm into this for pennies. This sold for $8.46 and the buyer's paying, oh shoot, it's going free shipping. Not sure how that happened, but this is like the third time this has happened to me. Next thing we have going out is this leg brace. I've already sold the right side. This one is the left side. I did pick these up at my local thrift store um, into this one for $10. The buyer paid $39.06 and it is going free shipping. Next thing going out is this Disney Little Einstein plush. Picked this up at my local thrift store. I believe I'm into this for maybe 50 cents a dollar at most. This sold for $23.76 and it is going free shipping. Very light, so it'll go first class. Last thing going out so far today is two of these event pacifiers. Did pick these up on RA, my local Walmart. They were on clearance for a dollar each. The cost of goods is two dollars. 
These sold for $12.71 and it is going free shipping. This will go first class. I did pick these up yesterday and just listed them last night and they sold that quickly. Just wanted to share something with everybody. How to get paid for eBay inventory by just using your phone and going shopping at Walmart on clearance. So I purchased seven of these. This is all they had. They are Revlon, some kind of face thing, not even sure. Comped it out. I'll show some comps here up on the screen. But just using your phone and your receipt, get paid for that product, for taking it out of the store, and being able to list it and being paid for that as well. So, on my phone, I've got an app called Ibotta. In there, they basically have different stores, but you get paid rebates for product. So you look through the items, figure out what you want. You can do this for your daily shopping. But I happened to notice that they had this rebate. Revlon Face Cosmetic. Select any varieties, any size. Limit two. Get $3. Okay, so I have seven of these. So I can claim up to two and get $3 back for each one. So that's going to be $6. I only paid $1.75 for all seven of these. The way it works is you select the item. You can also check the product barcode. And if you saw up there, it had offer matched. So, what I do now is I go in and redeem Walmart. And I scan the barcode. Two offers found. There we go. $3 for each of them. It gave me a limit of two. So I just got $6 for all of this. Today is Friday, April 9th. And these are the items we got going out today. Sold this... Andis Ultra Clip Combo. Purchased this at RA for $25 and this sold for $45.08 free shipping. Next item we have going out is a set of these golf tees. Again, another RA item. Next item we have going out is this Hummingbird Nectar Concentrate. I did pick this up at a, my local thrift store. I believe I'm into it for $2. And this sold for $12.71 and the buyer is paying $9.79 shipping. Next thing going out is another set of these fuel stabilizers. Again, another RA item. The last item we have going out today so far is another set of these golf tees. So we got all the packing done. I was about ready to head out and then I got one more order come in. So we sold this for $8.71. I believe I'm about a dollar. This is another RA item. And the buyer paid $4.10 for shipping.
Today is Monday, April 12th, and these are the items that sold over the weekend to go ahead and close out the sales for the week. First item, we've got this Smithsonian Astrolab Planetarium. The box is a little beat up, but it is brand new. Everything inside is still factory sealed. So I picked this up. I believe I'm into it for about $5. And the buyer paid $25 even. And they're paying $15.79 shipping. The next item that sold is this RCA. It's a digital to analog TV ATSC converter decoder box. This was on a VCR that I picked up at a thrift store and I was into it for $5. The VCR already sold. I sold this separately. The buyer's all into this for $14.92 and they did pay $9.79 shipping. I did ship this on Saturday because the buyer requested I ship it out right away. So that's what I did. Next item that sold was three of these fuel stabilizers. This is the last lot I have, so you won't be seeing any more of these unless I'm able to pick some more up on RA. These sold for $19.93 and they are going free shipping. Next thing going out is this Mario Carp for the Wii. I picked this up at a local thrift store. I'm into this for a dollar. I did test it. I had my son test it. He said it worked great. It does have a few scratches, but it still plays. Listed this, and I did list it high because I did do a promoted listing. I was expecting it to get caught up in my 10% sale that I usually run. This sold with less than two hours, and the buyer paid full price, $31.95, and it did not go out promoted listing. Next thing going out is two of these Armor All Extreme Tire Shine. Pick these up on Walmart clearance for $2 each. So that's cost of goods $4. This sold for $20, $20, and it is going free shipping. These I can actually get in a padded flat rate envelope and save a little bit on shipping. Next thing going out is this sewing machine foot pedal. It was in a lot of high bid stuff that I had picked up quite a while ago. It's a FDM pedal foot speed control model KD-1902. The buyer paid $19.32 and it is going free shipping. This I can easily fit into either a padded or a flat rate envelope. Next thing going out is this Sears automatic buttonhole attachment. Did pick this up at my local thrift store. I believe I'm into this for about $2.50. This sold for $21.96 and it is going free shipping. Next two items going out. I sold these to the same buyer. I did accept best offer on both of these. It's a the oval platter, Joanne Harvard. Forever Spring, this is the 15 inch oval meat serving platter. This I believe sold for 19 plus shipping. And this I believe sold for 17 something. In total, the buyers all into both of these pieces for 34, 36. This set of dishes I picked up at a thrift store and I believe I picked up the entire set for $35. So just these two pieces just about put us into breaking even. So for both pieces, they paid $34.62. Next thing going out is another RA item. It's this 16 millimeter active comfort strap black sports band. It is for the Casio watch. Picked this up on RA clearance for a dollar. This sold for $19.64. It is going free shipping, but very light. Not a big money maker, but bread and butter items. Next thing going out is a pair of these Dickies shorts. I did pick these up 
at Walmart clearance. I'm into these for a dollar. I picked these up last fall. This was the only pair they had left. This is a new Dickies Flex 13 Relax Fit Working Shorts. Blue, new with tags. It's navy blue. It's hard to see that. But the buyer paid $19.32 and they paid $6.40 shipping. So these are the items that we sold this week. So I hope some of these items were helpful for you when you're out there sourcing and looking for items to sell on eBay for a profit. So until next time, keep picking. I can keep this under first class. Buyer paid 13. A bell, uh, ba base. Is this terrible? Is another set of these golf tees. Listed this. Pick this up on. It's not zooming in. Again, another AR padded flake 